Hey guys, Kronk Tyrell here. Welcome to episode 3 of the Eidolon Mage series. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's get going. Alright, so I've been punching mushrooms for the past about 7.5-8 hours. So let's see where we got to. Okay, spore caps. 2400 kills. Wow. Oh, and I got the pants. Ha 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 ha. That's, that's funny. I'm pretty sure also that drop is exceedingly rare, but to be fair... I have almost obscene luck. So I mean, luck boost drop rate, XP gain, other RNG. So now I'm level 13. Okay, oh wait, I forgot about that. Now I can use a bunch of this stuff. Yeah. And so it's going to go up, I think it's going to go to 41, so a slight setup. We're going to keep that copper chop. <laughs> a weapon upgrade stone, like this is a rare, that's a, the rare kind, rare drop. Alright, so let's get this stuff rolling. Okay, so 100 monsters, we can do that easy, easy-ish. Alright, so... I'm gonna put this in there, and this too, uh, and these other things. So I'm just gonna—I don't know if I have the room for them, so I'm just gonna probably end up selling them. Yeah, and then go back and talk to Picnic still away. I'm gonna also talk to what's his noodle, uh, Hamish. Who needs the copper chopper? I should say he doesn't need it, he wants it. Alright, so oh, wait a minute, I forgot about that. We can go to uh, quick reference anvil. Yeah! There we go, we got some XP on that. And because of the thing I bought for 300. Um, oh wow. This anvil, the special anvil I got for 300 gems, I can produce two things, two products at once. My smithing is level 8. So let's see if we can get kitted out in a relatively good setup here. Okay, this level 6. Yeah, I should probably just make all this stuff. Copper bar, logs, thread. Let's see. Copper bars, logs, thread. Oh, I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about that. So, alright, so let's do. We'll have to make it one at a time, I guess. Alright, so logs and nails. make the cramped chopping pouch so that's cool then this pouch we need logs non-witches and hot dogs and non-witches here oh wow Dogs. Wait a minute, non witches. I thought there was a thing where I didn't have to make one or the other. The miniature pouch, you get that. The cramp chopping pouch, we have to make. The food pouch, we have to make. Okay. So we can make that. We need copper bars and 25 more nom witches. There we go. And then I'm 
on top of that. In the material pouch, nails, frog legs, and bean slices. Frog legs. Now it's on to the other. To talk to the stowaway. These guys can probably still, oh, they can't damage me. Okay. And I'm going to have to get the ketchup and all that picnic basket to talk. Yep. Ah, the nomwiches. I'd forgotten about that. I was like, oh, I have to get the mustard and ketchup. No, you have to give them the sandwiches first. You don't necessarily have to buy them. If you bumped off enough mushrooms, you should probably have the sandwiches by then. And as characters stack up, so will everything else, including sandwiches in this case. little penguins over there it's like oh hmm interesting yeah I can't since there's no uh, portals leading to anywhere else I'm gonna have to bust my way out of here <laughs> those fists of yours for safekeeping huh yeah okay that's a one hit. I need three of each. Wow, I can one hit these things with this. That's, there's mustard taken out there. Ketchup, two more ketchup and we're done. Anything access I'll sell because I don't have the bank space for it. That's two of each. Oh, we got it. And in the meantime, also talk to mushrooms. Okay. Just batting them down. There's like no time limit on this either, as I recall. You can just take however long. And they're out. I've forgotten about that too. I had totally forgotten about that. Oh yeah, I, I also made this other one by mistake, so now I'm gonna have to sell it. But I can put the katana thing right there. And this is the golden jam. This is the actual golden jam. Increases max health by 0.54%. Yeah, I would totally forgotten about this bag. Now I have to sell it. Because I can't use it now. And we'll talk to Hamish. Oh right, we have to give him the the two pack band. Yeah. 
The stamp has already been turned in, so I'll have to sell it. So this is going to kind of be like a slow march of AFK-ness out and about. That jam was a scam. Skullco, still joke. Get a scouting report from the jungle resident. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, we get inventory bag B. Nice. This I can put back. These I can put back. The gold I can put in there. What? Already owned? What? Oh, right, I did the thing where I had it apply to everyone as long as my first character had it. So I'll have to sell it. It's not much money, but money is money. And the purple two-pack band. I can't remember how we are going to make that. So I'll look it up. Here it is. Bleach logs, 50 iron ore, and crude oil. And I'm going to need money for that. 60 crude oil. Can we make the hat, the hat band? We can indeed. Boom. Because so now we have to like now give it to him. Well, I mean, obviously. Just gonna have the AFK here at the frogs, and that'll be that. Cause I can't really get anywhere else. Ah, return at chopping level seven. Oh, wait a minute. A billion slime sludge. Fifty slime sludge. Okay, cool. I can go back to get that for Hamish if he doesn't object to actually not going there to go get it because I know I have some. And if this stamp has already been turned in, I'll sell it. To try to get through the hundred thingies for what's his face here because I want to see what happens then and then that'll be the end of this one it's not else much else to really do at this point it's kind of slowish progression at the beginning Quite a few, less than a billion. Okay. That's it then, I guess. Uh, this is Storage Chest 1, which I apparently never completed on any other character because I didn't talk to Hamish very much. Going down, they're dropping. 
dropping. Dropping like flies. Okay. It's about halfway done. Sixty-two. Oh, hey, I can talk to what's his face here too. I'm <laughs> combatant. It's just the froggies with the fists on their head. This is per character, I think, so yeah. Alright, so we're gonna see, oh, 69, we need 21 more, no, 31 more. That shouldn't take too much longer. It's about one second per kill. do have to account for running. area even though our defense is only level eight that might be a bit of a, a bit of a risk shall we say oh he's got more so I can come back tomorrow he says all right so let's go to a nice clear space oh penguins oh and then they're cartoonish. Then I'll just dump everything on the floor. What have we got here? Uh, meaning a gift miss card. Gifty beard man. Gifty beard. What? Oh, gifty bread man. It's boost food. Okay, this is test two rate 62.9 percent plus four random stat this is the same okay can I make some armor or do I have some armor that I could put on here yeah oh hey we can put some more stuff in here but well I don't have armor make myself some though, I think, maybe. Yeah, 
nails and bars, bars and logs, and bars. So we need nails, bars, and logs. We need the bleach logs, not the oak logs. This, wait a minute. The plate body bar, yeah. This. Accuracy 223. That's an insane amount of accuracy for this level. I can 100% hit Amarok right now. The world one boss. All right. After we get to the next area, I'm gonna see if I can have 100% defense protection, and if so, that's where we'll be cutting it. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and ring the bell and twist the dial to tell YouTube you enjoyed this content. If you did, keep on going with your gaming journey and your life journey too. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. And board beans. Okay, I got to get them in two hits, it looks like. But we'll be able to get a lot of cool stuff. All right. Catch you guys later. See ya.